Hey guys, and welcome back to another pack making tutorial. Today's gonna be a slightly shorter video. I'm just gonna be showcasing how you can make the bow animations for your texture pack. I see a lot of people making bows, but not being able to make the animations for it in their pack. And this is why a lot of packs you see have the same bow, I feel, because a lot of people don't really know how, and it's actually a really easy thing to do. So to begin, I'm just gonna use a bow texture. I made this one for a pack, and I'm gonna be showing you how to animate it. So to begin, we're gonna have our bow pulling zero, one, and two files open, and we're gonna have our arrow open. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever arrow you either make or you use, and you're just going to take it like this. You're gonna copy it, and you're gonna put it on your bow pulling one. You're going to paste it in on a new layer, and you're just going to rotate it around, holding shift and using this rotate above here, above the selection. To rotate it round to be pointing this way. I'm going to take my bow by control A, control C, go back to my background layer and paste it in. As you can see here, I have my arrow that can move up and down. The first layout we want to be small. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this up to be near the end. Putting it right at the end usually doesn't look so good. So I'm going to pull it back just a slight bit. And then I'm going to go to my original layer and I'm going to just delete the original string and what you want to do is you want to take whatever string you have I just have a simple gradient like this and to keep that consistent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click up here and right click down here just so I can recreate the string in the future and then I'm going to remove it so I'm just going to select all the pixels and delete it once you have deleted it I'm going to go to the arrow layer and I'm going to press O to go to the line tool and I have brush width, brush width 1 or whatever the width of your original arrow was and go from the same point and I'm just going to connect the arrow to about there. That's usually pretty good. And I'm going to do that on the other side. And then I'm going to select the whole arrow part by holding shift and clicking. With the magic wand tool. And then I'm going to go to my gradient. And I'm just going to recreate the gradient from the arrow. And as you can see, we've got the first little arrow layout. A quick reminder is to make sure that the arrow is centered through the center of the bow, as well as making sure that it pulls back every single time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it on here. So this doesn't have the string. And then I'm gonna go to second layer, copy this, and put it on a new layer. And all I'm gonna do is move this back, maybe two pixels. And then I'm gonna delete the string again. Then I'm just gonna redraw the string like this with the line tool. Select the string and do my gradient. Control or Shift F to flatten the image. Control Save. All I'm going to do again is copy this, the next animation frame. Copy this, new layer, paste. And all I'm going to do is move it back to. And I'd say there is pretty much the final layer. So I'm going to delete the string again and I'm going to make the new line. There we go. And now I have all the animations for my bow. And I really ho hope this motivates you to make bows in your texture packs since a lot of people don't actually make bows in their texture packs. So I'm just gonna flatten the image, save it. Save it, save it. And save the final one. And now let's check it out in game. All right, so we're in game and I'm gonna take the bow. And as you can see, it has a lovely animation now. If your bow hasn't updated yet, tip, Hold down F3 and press T and that will reload all the textures in your game. This is very useful for making packs while having your game open. You save a texture, press F3 and T and it will re reload all the textures. And here we go. Lovely bow animation. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a bit of a different, shorter pack making tutorial. Quick tip on how to make bows. If you're enjoying the series, please make sure to subscribe. Very few of you that watch these videos actually even subscribe, so that'd be really nice if you could subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.